Time to get going now on my crankshaft and crank pin for these drawings we got here to work with. So we'll do the crankshaft first. Then we'll get to the crank pin. So we're going to have to face it and uh, thread it, and then uh, chop that little sucker off and face the end that we chop off. So let's get going. Crankshaft is stuck, is uh, chucked up now. So we'll go ahead and face it. Clean up that end. File a little champ for the edge a little bit around there. Do this very carefully. Okay. thread it. Well, I just kind of lose my focus when I try to get in with this camera. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with it. Anyway, there it is. I've got our crankshaft faced and threaded. Uh, this is the original crankshaft and I kind of screwed up the threading so I had another rod here, quarter inch steel. So I got that and figured I'd try that instead and after a couple of attempts I finally figured out that threading business. So we're not using a stock piece here, we're using a piece that we just got out of the junk drawer. Here's how that'll go. We'll, this will fit, fit into the crank wheel like this. Remember, we only capped this crank wheel halfway through about. So I'll screw it in here like so. Here's a lock nut. It goes on the outside. So that'll go like that. Then we'll cut that to length. And, uh, That'll go in our non-existent bearing here, bearing block. And I have to do a little bit of work on that to kind of shiny it up. Goes in like this. We'll have this cut off, of course. This hubble, which is a press fit. Once we chop this off, we'll bring this hub right on in there. That's the uh, crank wheel. 
probably hood of my crank wheel. That'll fit up here. Put a set screw in it. We kind of messed up the set screw too. It's supposed to be number six, and I tapped it for number eight. So I've got a number eight set screw on order. This one is too small. Of course, I had to order a hundred of them for five bucks or something, so I couldn't get just one. So if anybody needs a three-eighths quarter-inch or a uh, number six, number six thirty-two quarter-inch set screw, I let me know. I got a pretty good. I'll have a pretty good supply of those. It's one of the things you face when you're a machinist, I guess. Oh, here, clean the gutter. Here comes Marlene. I don't know what she's got on her mind. Oh, Other guys here to clean the gutter. All right, time out. I didn't know you were recording, sorry. She does that to me all the time. Okay. We parted and cleaned up our crankshaft now, so. I think we got that part finished, ready to go. Polish it a little bit with this emery paper. Get a nice smooth surface. I believe it's about ready to go here. This part you know will be pressed in here. Then we'll have our the other part screwed into our wheel. I guess the flywheel. It'll be a nut that will lock it on there. Okay. There we go. This will go right through here. This will fit on this side. So we'll have a little leeway in there. This will mount flush with the end of the, the end of our crank. Like so, so we'll have a little we'll have a little play in there. In there. That's the way it's designed, that's the way it'll be. Within a thousandth of an inch on that length, so that's where it's gonna gonna go. We'll go back, double check all the measurements to make sure, but I think by Jove, I think that's got it. Well, I pretty well did a job on this little crank pin. We messed up the thread on it. So. And the reason was right here at the end because it wouldn't, it kept slipping in the jaws of the lathe vise of the chuck. So I took it out and I ground off a little bit of it here because it only has to be about yay long where my fingernail is. I put it in the big vise and boy I really bore down on that on that uh, die and I kind of messed up the threads on this end of it so I got to make a new one. This is point four eleven is the uh, width of this crank pin and it's not really a standard size it's a 964 about Believe. And so I, I thought, well, I didn't have to worry about that. I'll make a pin, make another one, we'll start over. Well, this time I'm going to make it out of 3 16ths ride and then I'll turn it down. The reason for that is 3 16ths will give me 
more material for the chuck draws to bite to bite into, and it'll be off on the end of it where I won't won't be using that part of it anyway. So what I'll do is I'll grind it down. I have a big piece of left sticking out here. Now that I'm all finished building it, I'll cut it off. Live and learn. It's taken me a while to get these pins finished. I tell you, I keep having trouble. I've got to learn how to do the thread a little bit better than I've been doing it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can build a new piece. Try that. There's the new piece. I've got the 3 16 piece of steel chucked in there. You can see the difference in the step. Then I turned this down to 0.411. Took a little emery paper and polished it up. So we've actually got a little better rod there than we started with. Now we're gonna put a we're gonna put a thread out here, a half inch worth of thread. Then we'll measure it off to its overall length. I don't remember what that is offhand. I have to look at my plans. And we'll chop it off. We should have ourselves a crane pin. We'll see what happens anyway. Well, we got that little job taken care of. There's the bad pin that we screwed up. Guess what this pit's at? Here's the one we made. That's got a going to go in here like this. It's going to screw into our crank wheel like so. This uh, lock nut goes on the back side like that there. I guess this isn't exactly a balanced crank wheel but it'll work. So we'll lock that on there and the piston rod go on here. This of course is not only a press fit here but also has a set screw in it. That's a set screw I screwed up. It's supposed to be a 632. It's now an 832. But I got my box of 832 set screws here today so I stuck one in there. And that would go on there like this. Take it over to the arbor and press it. When we put everything together this whole thing will go around and the piston will go in and out is the idea. That's what pistons do. Back and forth actually, but they're also going in and out. And the cylinder will sit up here. That's going to all be a perfectly fascinating, wonderful to watch steam engine run on compressed air. Okay, that takes care of the flywheel and the crank wheel. Now we'll go on to the piston and the, and the uh, rod. Then the cylinder. Then we'll screw it all together. Okay, moving right along. Sign off for now, gang. <laughs>